Hello out there to you. Let's do an AP practice question from the AP micro exam. Uh, this is a graph that's a monopsony. How do I know that? Well, I've got supply and demand, uh, and then I've got this marginal factor cost. And what that means is it's the change in uh, the cost to the single firm as they have to increase the, in this case, wages, because that's what's up here, but whatever the um, cost to them is they have to spend that cost on everything that they buy so in other words all the workers need to get paid the same otherwise some of the workers will leave marginal revenue product this is the same as saying demand uh, and this is the supply except we have an imperfect market so uh, monopsonies will happen when there's a single buyer okay so the first question we've got here profit profit, profit maximizing number of beauticians that this firm will hire. It says that they're the only employer of beauticians in the area. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to where marginal factor cost is and where that meets marginal revenue product. That's right here. So the number of uh, employees they're going to hire is 108. Okay, 108. And then they don't have they the what they're worth is 132 dollars. Per hour but we're not going to pay them that because we don't have any competition so you come down to the supply curve that is the minimum wage i need to offer so that the employees will show up okay and so this is the monopsony wage we'll call that monopsony wage right there okay so they're gonna they're gonna offer 78 dollars okay so that'll be 78 dollars okay if the wage rate is 114 dollars uh, state whether there'll be a shortage or surplus. So what you're going to do there is go 114, follow this over to where it hits. Now we're just going to hit uh, right here. So there'll be 126 uh, workers demanded, but at $114, we're going to uh, we're going to have 180 show up. So it's the difference between these two. So difference between 180 and 126 which, uh, you know, let's do this, 126, 54. So the surplus in, in workers, sometimes called the unemployment, will be 54 in that case. Okay, so there'll be a surplus of 54. Assume the market for beauticians becomes perfectly competitive. So that, that now we're just going to look where supply equals marginal revenue product of labor. Uh, what would be the wage rate? Uh, that they would offer. Now we're just going to go to where supply meets that demand curve. They're going to offer 96 and they're going to hire 144. So the difference between the monopsonist, which is this outcome here, and the perfectly competitive outcome, that right there, that's known as the dead weight loss. Okay. Uh, all right. And so we've explained that. All right. Last question here is going to use something called the least cost rule. Uh, we're using labor and capital. The marginal product of the last unit of labor is 30. And the marginal product of the last unit of capital is 20. Wage rate is 60. Rental rate for capital is $20. Okay, so the formula that you want to remember here is the marginal, oh, it's not marginal utility, it's marginal product of labor divided by the wage rate needs to equal the marginal product of capital divided by the price of capital. Actually, in this case, it's calling it R. That makes sense. The price of capital, we're going to use K for capital because of the German influence of uh, Karl Marx. So the price of capital, because machinery isn't always purchased, sometimes it's rented or it's often rented, is the rental rate. Uh, and it, that's closely related to interest rates. So if you're taking another econ class, that'll work with that okay so they're optimizing their production or they're producing at the least cost uh, production level if this is true so let's see if it's true you just plug in those numbers so it's 30 over 60 does that equal uh, 20 over 20 and so this is this is 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and this is 1. So no, they do not equal. So what I want, it, th these denominators aren't going to change. I want the numerators to change. So if I buy more capital 
this number rent more capital in this case this number will go down so i'm going to write more over here i want that number to go down so that means i need more capital okay i can also get this number to go down uh rather go up so that it's 60 over 60 so that means less workers okay so i need less labor more capital or both and that'll get me closer to this to be producing at the least cost rule. Thank you.